In this video, I'm going to show you how to make your notifications more socially acceptable. Make sure you stick around, and if you like what you see, hit subscribe below so you don't miss out on future videos. Hi, I'm Will from Will Surridge Tech, and in this video, we're going to be looking at how we can make our notifications more socially acceptable by only having them trigger during socially acceptable hours. So what am I talking about? Well, let's say you have loads of cool sensors integrated into Home Assistant, and each of these sensors have a battery state, so you can track and monitor the battery level of your sensors. It would be great to be told when these battery levels are getting low so you can replace them. But if one night, while you're asleep, all these batteries get low, then you're just going to get notification after notification, and that will be annoying. So what are we going to do about it? Well, we're going to make Node Red and our automations think before they notify. We're going to tell them what time it's socially acceptable to notify us, and they'll hold the notifications until that point, so we're only notified within socially acceptable hours. Let's set this up. To start off with, we're going to need a few inputs. We're going to start off by creating an input boolean. As you can see, mine are referenced in a separate file, so we'll head over there now. We're going to create an input boolean called social hours. We're going to give it a name and an icon. We're not going to give it an initial state because we want Home Assistant to remember its last state next time it restarts. We're also going to need a couple of input times, so we'll head over to that file now. In here, we're going to add an input time for our social hours start and our social hours end. These are going to be the time only and not the date. Once we're happy, we can save and restart Home Assistant. The point in these times is we can define globally what the start and end times of our social hours are, and we can do it within the front end and Lovelace, rather than having to do it inside Node-RED or inside the back end of our automation. We could also take this one step further and automate our start and end times of social hours based on maybe an alarm or the day of the week, for example. Let's head over to Node-RED and we can set up our flow for our social hours. We're going to need an inject node and a couple of current state nodes. We're also going to need this within time switch node. A big thanks to Grim Roper for sharing this node with me. It's really clever. It'll basically give you two different outputs depending on whether the current time is within the specified time period or outside of it. It's in within the sun position palette, which I'll leave linked below. Now we can add a couple of cool service nodes and go back to the beginning and edit them all. The timestamp node doesn't actually need to inject a message, but it just needs to trigger every period of time. I'm going to set mine up for triggering every 10 seconds, as this is a reasonable interval, I think. Now we're going to use the current state nodes to grab the information from our start time and our end time. What we need to do though is save this information in a flow rather than a message. For some reason if you add it as a message it just won't work. So we're going to save the start time in our flow.starttime and then do the same with our end time, saving it in flow.endtime. Now remember, if we set it as a flow, it'll be relevant and accessible by the whole tab whereas a message is only accessible that for that one sequence, which I like to call a flow, but that's confusing. Anyway, and then there's obviously global, which is relevant for the whole of Node-RED, but I don't like using that because you might overwrite it later and it might get confusing. Now we can set up our time node. In here we set the start time as our flow.start time, and our end time as the flow.end time. We need to make sure we set up the configuration of the node. So we click on the pen icon and we need to enter our latitude and longitude. Once we've saved, we can move on to the cool service nodes. We're going to use these to turn on and off our social hours input boolean. So if we're within social hours, we turn the input boolean on. If we're outside of social hours, we turn the input boolean off. Now we've set up social hours, we can move on to the actual notification. For this, we're going to need an event state node, a current state node, and then a switch, a wait until, and a call service node. So starting with the event state node, this is going to be our battery sensor. I'm going to use the dining room switch battery sensor level, which comes part of the hue integration for this example. 
I'm also going to check the output on connect box. You don't need to do this, I'm just doing it so I can manually trigger the flow when I restart node red or redeploy node red for an example. Now we move on to the current state node. This is where we determine at what battery level we want to be notified at. As you can see, I've created an input number for this. You can see I've created that with a minimum of zero, a maximum of 50, and an interval of five. So I can select in my front end what battery percentage I want to be notified at, somewhere between zero and 50%. I'm going to publish this value in the message.value message. We then move on to the switch. This is going to switch based on whether message.payload is less than or equal to message.value. If it is, it'll continue. If it's not, then it will stop. So if our battery level is greater than our notification threshold, then we won't be notified. But if our battery level falls below our threshold, then we will be notified. Then we have the wait until node. This is going to be waiting until our input boolean for social hours has the state of on. That means it'll wait until the social hours are on, i.e. it's socially acceptable to be notified. Now we can move on to the call service. This is the actual notification. If you haven't already, check out my full video on different types of notification that you can set up. For this, I'm just going to use a simple message. So we set the domain to notify the service to our iOS device, and then we open up the data panel so we can enter our message. So we're going to add the message, your dining room switch battery level is low. But to make this easier to duplicate, we're going to get that name from within the flow. So we're going to use the parameter data.newState.attributes.friendlyName. You can see where I got this from by using a debug node and tagging it in. You can see that the information we want is under the data section, under the new state section, under the attribute section, and labeled as friendly name. Now we can deploy it and wait for ourselves to be notified. So there we go. Battery level notifications that only happen in sociable hours. Make sure you hit subscribe below and click the bell icon to find out more about my smart tech and how you can build yourself the ultimate smart home.